All right, hello. This is a another instructional video from PepperPanicTips.com. Uh, this is for new players of the game, and it's about how peppers work. Um, if you if you're familiar with other King games, um, Candy Crush Saga or Farm Hero Saga, in particular, those are match three games, and you know the, it works by matching three three or more uh, pieces of the same color together in order to you know achieve goals that each level sets out for you. Um, Pepper Panic Saga is a match three game also but the peppers work a little bit different than say the candies and candy crush saga do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna load up this level it has a lot of it has a big board and a lot of peppers on it so I'm gonna show you some of the basics of how the peppers work. Um, level 95 is the match patterns level. Um, I'm not going to worry about the patterns on this or trying to beat the level. I'm just going to show you some basic moves. Alright, so you can see when we start out we have a bunch of peppers. All the peppers have one dot on them and they're all small. Uh, these are stage one peppers. Um, the, the objective in Pepper Panic Saga is to grow your peppers and the more you grow them they'll eventually get to to their full size and they'll explode and that's what makes the game fun is there's a lot of action um, compared to some of those other games I mentioned so the way you grow a pepper is you match three of the same color together so I'm gonna move this red one up here and now you'll see that the, the new pepper that's left behind has two dots same with the blue Alright, so you see that whenever whenever we match them together, all three of them don't disappear like they do in Candy Crush Saga. They, I guess if you've played Farm Heroes, then you know about eggs, how eggs kind of all pull together at the spot of the one that you move. So you see that when I combine those three, I have one pepper left behind that's now a bigger size. All right. Um, so when I match this stage two pepper with these other stage ones you'll see it grows again All right now it's got three dots one of the things you can do in this game is you can uh, combine more than three at a time and different things will happen um, I'm gonna make this match here it's a, it's a four pepper match that's in a straight line and you'll see that you'll see that something a little bit different happens Alright, so whenever I combined those four peppers, what happened was I created what was called a shock wave. The shock wave that comes particularly from a four four pepper match in a straight line will clear all the small level all the small peppers out of that row and grow your one pepper. So now you see at the bottom I have this big pepper that's about ready to explode. And it had cleared out all the small peppers in my row. Another way you combine peppers that can be helpful is by uh, combining them in patterns. Like this one, this is going to be a T pattern. As you can see, it's going to be five peppers that are all combined together of the same color, and the pattern is going to be a T. So, what else is going to happen is this this pepper is at stage five. As you can see, it has five dots on it. It's going to explode. When it explodes, watch what happens to the other blue peppers on the board. It happens kind of fast, so I'll explain. The each time you explode a pepper of one color, you grow it to its full size and it explodes. It will grow all the other peppers of that color on the board. So you see all the one, you know, stage one peppers that were there are now now stage twos. Um, and you also, we'll, well, well, we'll talk about that in a second. So I'm going to continue to, you know, combine these blue peppers if I can. Um, you can use. Uh, I want to grow these right here, and they're already partially grown. So when I collect, when I connect these four, it's going to create another one of those shock waves like it did in the, in the first time. But this time, watch it'll grow these two peppers because they're not small. And that started, uh, you know, the effect of where that that pepper combined with some other ones and exploded. All right, so this is another one. This is a you know a couple two stage two peppers combined with the stage four pepper. That's going to make that grow big enough to explode. 
screw all the other red peppers on the board. See, those were three two sta uh, stage two peppers combined. It, it, it only made it a stage um, stage five, so it's ready to explode, but it didn't explode just by that match. Here's another four pepper combo. You see the shock wave. This one's going to be four, and this one's going to serve two purposes. It's going to explode this pepper that's ready to explode, and it's also going to shoot a shock wave at this one that's going to make it explode. So watch what happens here. See, both of those peppers are burning, and they explode, and now all the other ones are that color. That starts a chain reaction, which causes peppers all over the board to start to explode and it's going to start what's called a pepper panic. Pepper panics are cool in the fact that they um, you know they get you lots of points and they clear out the board as you can see after that happened all the other peppers disappeared and new ones fell in that were um, stage one. That can come in handy to also like if you're trying to make something and you can't get to it you can clear out the board. Here's an interesting match this one's going to be two T's together so matches like that are obviously going to cause a lot of action to happen on the board and make things you know good things happen um, these I see that these are ready to explode this one's ready to explode if I make a four pepper match here it's going to make that one explode um, one of the things about making pepper panics is, is when you have a, a a pepper like this, it's always going to explode if it grows one size. Um, if I combine these three together, that one pepper is going to grow and explode. But if I combine these three together, watch what happens. This one will explode, and that will cause a chain reaction that causes that one to explode. So taking your time before you make your moves is helpful to, to get the most as far as chain reactions and starting pepper panics. Alright, as well as making them in the shape of T's, you can also make them in the shape of L's. This is two peppers of the same color here, two peppers of the same color here, and a fifth one that will fit in between. So whenever I combine those, the same thing happens that happens with the T. It sends off two shock waves and creates a lot of good stuff to happen on the board. There's one more kind of match that you can do, and I'm trying to set one up here somewhere. Alright, let's see. That looks like another pepper panic is going to start, so hopefully we'll have some peppers fall into place. Like I said earlier, you know, this is a board that I picked on purpose because it has a lot of, it has a lot of wide open space and a lot of peppers. Um, some of the levels are obviously going to be a lot more difficult to, you know, make the matches that you want. I'm out of move, so I'm going to pause the video for a second and then I'm going to um, load it up one more time. All right, so I uh, I reloaded the level and I moved some peppers around, and I can maybe I'll show you the last type of match that you have. Um, this is a match that that matches five peppers together uh, in a straight line, and it acts a little bit differently than the other five pepper matches that are in shapes. Um, when you match the peppers this way, what it'll do is it'll it'll grow all the peppers on the board. In this case, of the same color. In this case, yellow peppers, and it also on levels that feature the uh, the villain Mr. Claus, it'll actually disable him too. So these are good, these are good matches. It does not make uh, it does not make a shock wave. So you know you have to use your best judgment of what the better um, match would be in different situations. But this is just a basic straight line five pepper match.
and you see that all of the yellow peppers on the board grew. Alright, so I hope this was helpful to understand how peppers work in the game and how you can use them a little bit differently than you do you know candies or whatever I mean in a way they're all they all turn into boosters if you grow them because they explode and that causes a lot of different things to happen um, I think it's a fun game I play it and I and I make my website about the game um, so I hope you'll visit and uh, you know check out all my videos and all the guides on how to beat particular levels and tips that you need and uh, I'll be making some more videos so I'll see you soon